dry things need containers. Adam's here with more. <laughs> I wonder whether any of these will actually hold your humor better <laughs> than it will hold flour or sugar or other dry staples, which are the things that we in the test kitchen <laughs> recommend putting in an airtight, watertight container. <laughs> there are a million different kinds of containers on the market, and specifically hmm. lids. You can get them that have trap doors so that you can <laughs> dip and sweep on the straight edge there. They have clip downs like that. You clip it down. You can get them with a leveler in here, again, Ooh. for dipping and sweeping so you don't need to bring an excess straight <laughs> edge. You can get them with like <laughs> pop down buttons like this. We have a lineup of eight. The price range was $9.03 to $23.74. Okay. Let's talk about the seal first, because you really want to keep whatever is in here, including your humor, free from <laughs> any kind of moisture. <laughs> so testers use desiccant, and it's blue to begin with. Huh. It absorbs moisture, it turns pink. So testers measured the same amount of desiccant put them in each container, stashed it in a corner of the test kitchen for two weeks and checked daily to see whether there was any color change. And the good news is there was no color change. Very so good there news. was moisture protection. They also opened and closed the lids and the seals 50 times and washed them and dried them 10 times to see how they would stand up in terms of durability. Sure. And in fact, again, no change in the seal or the protection. They did find that these complicated ones that have more doors and grooves and nooks and crannies were a little harder to dry. Mm. So that increased the chances of introducing some moisture to your dry goods. We do not want that. Now, the capacity for these guys was between three and a half and six quarts because you want to be able to put a full bag of flour sure. or sugar, five pounds in there. And in terms of the shape of the container, let us step down to these and have you do a little bit of dipping and sweeping. All right. Do you remember, this is the one that has the leveler in there. Yes. Why don't you try that with a one cup measure. Okay. And just scrape it right on this edge here, right? There you go. Well, that's not very helpful. There Half the you flour don't go. went right there and the other half is gone from the actual <laughs> cup, so. So when that one was full, it really didn't mm. work all that well. Also, I don't know whether you noted this, but testers really felt like the narrow containers, it made it a little difficult to maneuver a one cup measure sure in did. there. Sure it was did. better for a quarter cup measure, which was another test. It's true, because usually when you dip in and sweep, you're kind of working your elbow and you know moving your a wrist little around. Figure eight exactly. motion or something exactly. like that. Why don't you try dipping and sweeping in this container, right. which is square? Okay. Plenty of room. Can dip and take a straight edge and sweep. Perfect. There we go. Perfect. And that is one of the reasons, that's the main reason the testers really preferred a square container because it gave them plenty of room to maneuver around. And this guy with the red lid is our winner. This is the Cambro Six Quart Square Storage Container. It's $23.74, which is a price that includes the lid, which is sold separately. It's the darling of the food service <laughs> industry. You'll find this in almost every professional kitchen. And with good reason, it's perfectly simple. It's got no unnecessary bells and whistles. It does the job, it's easy to work with, it's easy to clean, and it's our favorite. It does its job well, and just that job, right? Exactly. Well, there you go. Our winner is the Cambro Six Quart Square Storage Container. It's sixteen sixty-seven for the container and seven dollars and seven cents for the lid. Thanks for watching America's Test Kitchen. What'd you think? Well, leave a comment and let us know which recipes you're excited to make, or you can just say hello. You can find links to today's recipes and reviews in the video description. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. See you later. I'll see you later. <laughs>